Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Got an absolutely glorious morning down here in Penzance today. Got a whole day out. I've had such a hectic couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to just a really nice relaxing day of photography. Got the whole day just to enjoy. Um, conditions are lovely. I mean, it is pretty much clear, clear blue sunny skies, but um, I don't care. It's nice just to be out. But um, I've got this lovely bank of cloud here. Which you can see the showers, the rain in the distance. And I'm just going to get a couple of images here. It's really, really beautiful. The sun's sort of poking behind the cloud there. And it's a lovely shape to the cloud. And there's also a ship there. So I'm going to get a couple of images here. Um, and there's also the lighthouse at the end of the quay. So I'll get a couple of images. Um, I'm shooting Ilford Delta 100 today to start off with anyway. Um, and I'm going to just use a three stop graduated filter for the sky there. Uh, and yeah, just see where I go from there really. I've got no real plans on what films I'm going to use today. Just see what the conditions are like later and just um, go from there really. But yeah, really good. Just so happy to be out. It's been such a crazy couple of weeks. Feels so good and I'm just looking forward to a nice day of photography. So I'm going to grab these ones. So I drove a bit further around Mounts Bay. I'm over in Marazion now. Really lovely. I've got a beautiful view of the mount from a slightly different perspective this way. Uh, I've come back to this spot because I actually captured an image here about a week ago, uh, actually on my iPhone while I was working. I drive around a lot at work and um, it's basically all I have with me is my iPhone. But it was really lovely light and a really dramatic sky. Uh, so I quickly jumped out of my van and I came out, I came into the, the, the graveyard here to, to capture the image. Really, really pleased with it. Really lovely image. I'll put it up on the screen, the iPhone image. We can compare it. So I thought I'd come back today and try and recreate that image on my medium format camera. But this, it's not as good light. The light's not as good and the, the sky is nowhere near as dramatic. So I'm going to be struggling to, to um, even come close, I think. But I'm going to shoot it again anyway, just so you can see. But yeah, so that's the plan here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear behind me. I've got two guys streaming right where I want to be, like really loud. So um, I don't think you'd be able to hear me up there if I go up there. Hopefully they'll be finished in a minute. But I'm having a bit of a funny old day today. I, I, over in Penzance, I left my mobile phone at home. I had no device for recording time. So for long, long exposures and things like that, it's going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to have to sort of count it or something. I don't know. And then, um, and then every road seemed to be closed on the way up here. Like uh, I had to go around every single detour back road to get here. And now I've got people streaming where I want to take photographs. So it feels like the world's working against me a bit today, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on. Because uh, like I say, it's the only day I've got again. And it's bloody lovely. Don't get me wrong, it's really beautiful. I could just sit here all day if I'm honest, but I'm going to get out and just have a really nice day of photography, you know. Really nice relaxing day. Might go and see if I can discover some new locations and just, just soak it all up, I think. Right, so I'm going to go up there, see if I can... Um... Oh, he's, he's right where I want to bloody be. <laughs> He's right where I want to be. Oh, why is everything going against you sometimes, eh? I don't know. Actually, I've got a question for everyone who's watching, if you've got any advice. So while I'm working um, my full-time job, I, I'm basically driving around Cornwall and I want a little camera, something small, compact and thin that I can just slip into my pocket. You know, it's going to sit there quite comfortably. It can be digital or film. I'm not bothered, you know. I just, I just want something that takes good images. So when I'm out and about on the road and you get those those moments of light and you know interesting scenes that you just want to capture and yes I'm just uh, if any of you guys have got any thoughts on that you could um, let me know in the, in the comments there uh, I've been looking at a few um, the Ricoh possibly an older version of GR2 maybe I thought that might be quite nice it's a nice compact little one or an older Fuji perhaps the X100 one of the older versions something like that really um, yeah, I'd like to be interested to see what you've got to say about it if you've got any uh, advice but um, yeah I'm just gonna sit here for a minute wait for these guys to finish their gardening and uh, hopefully get up there in a minute. Ooh. So I've got a lovely scene here. I'm going to get an image here just while I'm waiting for those guys to finish the trimming. Looking down towards uh, St Michael's Mount there in the distance with all the grey stones in the foreground here. I just think it'll make a nice scene. A bit of interest in, in the sky at the moment as well, the clouds there on the horizon. Uh, I've stuck on a free stock graduated filter for the sky there. Uh, and I've set it to f22 so I can get as much in focus as possible but the front the first gravestones probably won't be I don't think that's going to be possible but um 
Yeah, so it should make quite a nice scene, this one. And then uh, I'm not going to head up there. I think they've just moved or they're having their break or something. So I'm going to quickly go up there now and grab that image as well. Yeah, they're all promising. Grab this one quickly and then I head up there. So it looks like the gardeners are on their break for a bit. So I'm going to quickly grab a couple of images here now. I just love this scene here. I love the angel here in the foreground. And there's a nice cross off to the left. And in between it, St. Michael's Mount just sits in between. It's just a really lovely composition. And then you've got the stones sort of falling away down into the sea as well. I just, I just really, really like it. So I'm going to get a few images here. So I've made it down to the next location. I'm down at a place called Gunwallow in Church Cove. Really beautiful spot here. Named after the church here, sort of nestled into the dunes there. And on the other side is the quite wild sea and coast. Really lovely scene here. So I'm going to photograph this one. Um, I've stuck on my widest lens, the 50 millimetre, and I'm going to stick on a graduated filter for the sky a bit there. Uh, settings wise, um, at f16 and at 1 125th of a second. So I'm going to grab this one and then I'm going to um, walk around onto the beach and see if I can find anything down there. So if I set the camera up here, I've got a lovely scene looking down towards the sea here uh, with the hotel on the cliffs and some lovely light coming through every now and then. I just like the way the, uh, the stream works your way down to the water and it sort of leads you around towards the sea and then the, the uh, hotel up there. Uh, I've taken two images already, um, just with the neutral density, sorry, the graduated filter for the sky there. I'm also taking two images now with a 10 stop filter, trying to get a nice long exposure. It's got a bit of an issue here because um, my chimney, the light meter's packed up, so it's just not working all of a sudden. And I haven't got my phone with me, so I've got no timer. So uh, basically, I'm just going to have to work off the Sunny 16 rule, get a base exposure time, and then work out 10 stops in my head, then add on a bit more for reciprocity failure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two, two different exposures, quite a big difference in uh, exposure time between the two. I'm going to do one at one minute, and I'm going to do another one at two to three minutes. I haven't decided yet. Um, just to give me a bit of room for error with my calculations because they're not going to be right, you know, working the way I'm working. But hopefully if I just get one decent image in there exposed correctly, I'll be happy with that. So I'm going to get one last image while I'm down here. It's been absolutely beautiful down here today. Really lovely and warm for this time of year. I've stuck on my longest, uh, my longest lens, my 250 millimeter. So I want to get a really nice tight crop in on the hotel on the cliffs there. Lovely big waves coming through. It's crashing up and producing some lovely sea spray. And the light's all coming towards us. So it's giving quite a nice effect. The only issue is 
it's really, really bright in the sea. The highlights are really wild. So I've stuck on a graduated filter and I've actually angled it to the side there, as you can see, just in the hope that it brings down the highlights in the uh, water. So I'm going to grab this image and then I'm going to have a little think about where to go next. I'll probably do one more location today and then that'll be, um, that'll be it for today. But it's been, it's been an absolutely fantastic day so far. I've really enjoyed it. So hopefully this one will come out. I'll grab this one a second. So I made it over to Goon Hilly Earth Station. I just wanted to finish up this roll of film. I've got a few shots left. I'm just going to get a few images of the satellite dishes. I like the way the uh, light, light's catching them and you can see the reflections in the uh, actual dishes and things. I put a red filter on for some extra contrast because I think it might look quite nice. So I'm going to get a few different images of that. I've only got about four or five left, I think. Use those up. There's a few windmills over to the right as well, so I might uh, take a couple of those. And then uh, I'll probably call it a day for today. But yeah, it's been a really good day. I've really enjoyed it. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you um, and you haven't subscribed yet, if you could do that, that'd be absolutely amazing. And if you could give the like button a hit, that'd be even better. Well, thanks very much. I really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you all again really soon. Thank you.